We're joined with Graham Turner here on the Echo Street pitch. Graham, how does it feel to be back this morning? Oh, it feels great. It's a lovely sunny Sunday morning. It's a worthy cause. Rob's been a good servant to the club and to football in general. He's been a, a, a very good pro over the years. So delighted to be back and delighted to see some of the old faces here. And what's it like? Because Alex Janine's just arrived and Jamie Pittman. You know, what does it feel to see these former players? Oh, it's, it's great. It brings back happy memories. I mean, there were some hard days here, but there were also some very enjoyable play, uh, days. And I think the most important thing for me was catching up with some real good pros, real good people that I worked with. You know, you mentioned Alec Janine, there's others in the dressing room there. Um, we had a good time. And if you think back to and driving in, I was thinking back to the Leicester playoff final and uh, the victory there, um, getting promotion at, at Brentford, uh, those sort of things stick in your mind. And uh, I really look back and think I had a great time here. You still keeping up to date with the fortunes of Hereford FC? Yeah, um, I've not been down this season, but uh, yeah, we, you know, there's always that interest. Uh, I've not been to too many games at all this season, but um, you keep a, you keep an interest in it. Are you still involved in football? Uh, I'm doing a little bit of mentoring for our league managers association. Um, you know, just helping out one or two young managers, and uh, I'm enjoying that side of it. We're talking about to, to former players, you know, you mentioned about Alex Janine. Gia Pua should be here a little bit later on as well. How important was he for that team that got promoted in 2005, 2006? Well, he started the season well and finished well. In between, I'm not quite sure. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but who can forget the goal at Leicester that, uh, you know, saw us get promotion. He was, he was a class above the level we were playing at and, and another good lad. You've been here for, for 15 years. Um, you know, what were the, the big highlights for you during your time at Edgar Street? Well, we've mentioned Leicester, we've mentioned Brentford. That was it. But equally, I'd, uh, I was a novice director, chairman. And uh, what pleased me was that we sorted the finances out of the club. Um, we made a profit for about five or six years running. Uh, I left half a million pound in the bank. The club was debt free. Um, so that side of it, I took a lot of satisfaction as well as the playing side. So it, it was a demanding role being chairman. And have you got any advice for the, um, the Hereford FC Board of Directors? Because this season has been a little bit trickier than the previous three. Yeah, it's been uh, a comfortable three seasons that's gone up, but it's just keeping your head. I've got to say, you know, it's been a while since I've been inside the ground and it's all neat and tidy and uh, looks a, a professional club. And that's down to the directors and uh, the way they've been running the club. So they're on the right track. Uh, it's always difficult to to climb the ladder, get to get back to football league standard. We've seen some that have been relegated, some quite big clubs out of the league, not only Hereford, but uh, they've been struggling as well to get back in there. So it's no easy task. We're joined with Matt Clark here at Edgar Street. Matt, you're excited to be part of this testimonial? Yeah, you know, occasions like this, uh, you know, and what it, what it means for Rob is, is fantastic. What was Rob like as a teammate? He was a great lad, you know, when obviously when. You know, I played with him, I played with him for two years and um, he was a young lad, he'd just come from Leicester at the time, so he was just finding, finding his feet in, you know, in football. Um, but he was, he was a great kid and he's gone on to have a fantastic career. And what's it been like to see former players and colleagues this morning? It's great because, you know, people's lives change and, you, you know, you stop playing and, uh, and you do lose contact. So days like today where you come around people that you spent a lot of time with, you know, a lot of emotions, eyes and, you know, ups and downs, it's just fantastic. You had five years here at Edgar Street. What are, you, what are your highs? Oh, uh, probably the FA Cup, you know, the FA Cup games. Uh, also the, the league games, you know, beating you rushed and stopping Yeovil uh, from getting promotion at Yeovil was probably one of the best one of the best days and you know Hartlepool, York, uh, Wrexham, um, Leicester you know in the FA Cup all those uh, Swindon away although we got beat some real great you know the, the, the FA Cup was you know was, was non-stop fantastic to be honest for us. Joining me is Simon Travis. Uh, Simon what's it been like to return to Vegas Street this afternoon? It's been fantastic so it's been a few years since I've been down here um, but to come back is, uh, was a real honour when Rob phoned me up and asked me to play. So, uh, all in all, it's been a fantastic day and I've really enjoyed myself. You put in some decent crosses. You were rolling back the years in the first half, weren't you? Yeah, well, yes. I think uh, getting there wasn't so bad. It was getting back that was more difficult. I think the, the years have taken the toll on the, on the legs, but uh, it was fantastic. And, and it's great to see all the boys, obviously, uh, and great to catch up with a few of them. So, all in all, fantastic day. You joined Hereford in 2004 from memory, certainly correctly. What are your memories of your time here? 
uh, just a fantastic football club. Just the, the whole atmosphere, the club, how it was run, the people that were here, the players, the fans, everything about it was um, was a really memorable time. And obviously having some success here as well, getting promoted back into the football league. Are you still involved in football, mate? No, I'm a, a detective in the police now. So I played a bit of semi-pro football once I left here uh, and then joined the police. I've been there for uh, 10 years, so now I'm chasing uh, other people around. <laughs> Joining me is Steve Guinan. So Steve, how did you find the game? First thing, very hot, um, which I'm delighted for with Rob because I'm sure he's put a few more on the gate. Um, but overall, it's you know great to see so many old players and, and current players and ex-managers here because um, you know it proves what Hereford means to, to Rob Purdy and what Hereford means to a lot of players. So it's, it's great to see everyone turn out. You had two spells at Hereford United. The first one was in 2002 to 2004. Any memorable matches from that era? Um, some good ones and some bad ones, in all honesty. Uh, you know, the Aldershot playoff semi final here, which I, I can never erase out of my memory. Uh, but, but that season in general, you know, I think Halifax, Dagenham uh, scoring so many goals, I think was um, such a travesty that we never went up that season. Um, and then obviously coming back from a second spell and, and doing so well, getting promotion from League Two into League One, beating Leeds here, and now obviously got a chance of being a Premier League side and playing the likes of Leicester in a full house. So. Uh, great memories, brilliant people, um, and just you know, glad to be back on the on the famous soil. What was it like working under Graham Turner? Um, I enjoyed it, you know, by hook or by crook. Graham managed to get the best out of me, in all honesty. I think I had my most productive spell in terms of goal scoring here, uh, in both spells, and he simplified everything, made sure it was easy, um, not rocket science, just get the ball around. He gave us relatively easy instructions, some some. Uh, simple things to remember and that was it. It didn't overcomplicate things which I think worked well with the players he had. How shocked were you to see from 2009 this was a League One club and then five years later it was liquidated? It must have been a massive shock for you. Yeah, you know, I still live up the road in Worcester where I lived previously and um, you know, it's not the only club that it's happened to. I think there's more and more clubs that could go that way and it's just a shame that a club who can compete in the likes of League One and League Two and it is a football league club that can sink so far away and uh, I think everyone knows what happened with the, with the management at, at board level. Um, and it's just a shame, but fingers crossed with the turnout we've had here and the players, that they'll, they'll slowly start making, uh, making waves to get back up to where they should be, which is a football league club. So Ryan, first things first, um, talk about the, the day, a good turnout, and obviously a lot of people wanted to, to say thank you to Rob Purdy today. Yeah, great turnout. Um, you know, it was a lovely day for it as well, so I think everything went as planned and uh, you know, give Purdy the the send off he deserved because he's been fantastic for both clubs and uh, he's been a model professional ever since I've known him as well so brilliant yeah. And nice to see some former teammates from Yeah years. absolutely yeah a few have put a bit of timber on and uh, a few are nice and slim still but yeah brilliant to see all the lads and uh, for both teams so um, hopefully share a beer with them now after the game and uh, yeah, because you might not see him for, again for a long time now, or ever maybe, so I'm you never know. It's, it's probably some players you haven't seen for a while. I haven't seen a lot of the players since uh, the Hereford United days, so it could be well, I don't know, 10, 10 years plus. So uh, yeah, a lot to catch up on now, so uh, looking forward to a nice cold shower and a, a nice few beers with the lads. Obviously you've started the, the season on the pitch, but you haven't, haven't played for a little while now, for yeah. a few months. How, how was it out there? Well, for myself personally, yeah, for um, yeah, I felt alright. I was playing on the, as a right back, one night, so it's not mm. my position anymore. You know, ten years ago, yeah, but now I prefer playing centre half. So, like I said, um, you know, I haven't hung my boots up entirely yet. So um, I'll have to speak to Tim soon, see what I'm going to do next season. Are you looking for a testimonial? Is it when you? Um, yeah, I've got a testimonial. Um, it'll be released, uh, I think, in two weeks' time. So we've got we've got a team. Um, I'm not going to say anything yet, I'll let the club sort that out. So I think in about two weeks' time they'll uh, release who we're going to play in. Be you've, been, as well. you've been doing a few bit of scouting for Hereford FC, how's that been going? Yeah, brilliant, yeah. If you, you know if you can't play it, then uh, be involved, it's the second best thing. So uh, yeah, totally enjoying it. Hopefully, uh, I've let Tim and Mark know about a few players and hopefully they can snap them up now for, for next season and push on. Get into that playoff area is probably the, the aim for next season, so uh, we'll see. So I suppose it was a bit of a tough season just gone. Obviously, the club did stabilise in the end and managed yeah. to stay up comfortably. How, how did you see the season overall? Um, it's a tough league. I think it's a surprise to everybody um, how tough it was. It's a massive step up, uh, you know, a big changeover in, in managers and then the new managers spotted his own players in. So, uh, you know, it's been an up and down season for everybody, fans, everybody. But um, hopefully, the fans get behind Tim and Mark now and, uh, you know, push up the league. 
do you think it's a big um, pre-season coming up with obviously recruitment obviously we don't know who's going to stay who's yeah going to definitely going yeah the list I've been out who's staying or going yet I don't think so uh, it'll be interesting to see who they bring in and uh, hopefully some, some good players to like I say get back at that table would the, like a playoff push be the, the aim next season I'd say so yeah definitely um, why not you know the, the form won too bad towards the, the, the latter end of the season so uh, they just need to kick on now Joining me is Rob Hurdy. Rob, you must be absolutely delighted with the turnout today. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, when, we, when I started today, I thought if I can get to a 1,000 people, then it will give a, a decent enough atmosphere for the players to enjoy the game, which, which will make the fans enjoy it a little bit more. And then I think it was just over 1,500, a couple of 1,500. So, yeah, I, I couldn't have wished for a better day, really, with the weather as well. What's it been like reuniting with former players and colleagues? I mean, I've enjoyed it, you know. The, the lads have turned up. I got let down by a few on Friday, some for good reasons and some, unfortunately, disappointing reasons. Um, but I managed to get a good enough squad together and... You know, obviously in a league game they probably would have scored a few more goals against us, but I thought we'd have a good account ourselves against some uh, against the young boys. It's good to see some of the Hereford United players rolling back the years. Like Simon Travis had one great run in the first half. I think he thought it was 2006 yeah, again. Yeah, yeah. And the, all the Hereford FC boys were talking about Ben Smith, you know, great footballer, great player to play with, so clever. So, uh, yeah, it was really good to get one last game with them all. And how was Graham Turner? Do you know what? Graham was so happy when he walked through the door, you know, and that was my first big smile of the day because I'd, uh, I'd been pretty stressed this morning. And then Graham came in, shook my hand, gave me a hug, and uh, yeah, just kind of like he was one of the first ones through the door. And it was great to see him as well. In your speech just before kickoff, you mentioned Pete Beadle, who was up in the stand. How much of an influence was he at your time at Hereford FC? Yeah, you know, he was the only manager I had at Hereford FC, and, and we had great success. Uh, and it was down to his recruitment and the fact that he, he, he wouldn't allow us to lose a game of football. So uh, I was really happy that he came. Uh, I wasn't sure whether he was going to come. It wasn't until probably uh, Thursday, Friday when I, really, I actually saw his tweet on Saturday, I think it was. And that was when I knew that he was definitely coming. So, yeah, really good to see him as well. And uh, the fans got to say thank you and so did the, the Hereford FC boys. Are there any plans to resurrect your playing career? Have you got the taste of that after today? I don't think so, no. I think... Uh, I think a couple of cameos in a couple of charity matches or something will probably do me. Uh, I'll be happy with that. Cheers, Rob. Thanks for your time. Cheers, thank you.